Hello, my name is Destiny Banks, and welcome to a very special episode of PGTV News. February is Black History Month, and it is a time to celebrate the heroes that have contributed to our history. Heroes such as Rosa Parks, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Jackie Robinson have transformed the United States through their courageous and noted acts of bravery. Though many people know and read about these heroes, there are still those unsung heroes who have faced adversity through the struggle for racial equality and yet no one knows about them. One such hero was newspaperman L. Alex Wilson, a black journalist writing for the Norfolk Journal and Guide and the Tri-City Defender. He worked side by side in the 1950s with many brave journalists during the Civil Rights Movement. Today we bring you a brief history of how Wilson's path would bring him to a very special moment in America's history. In May of 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its verdict on the famous Brown v. Board of Education trial that ruled that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. This case paved the way for integration. Three years later, in Little Rock, Arkansas, nine African-American students headed to the all-white high school to be the first group of African-American students to attend Central High School on September 23rd. Due to a hostile crowd and fearing for all parties involved, the students returned home. During this attempt, there were four African-American reporters who were on the streets planning to cover the story. One of those reporters, L. Alex Wilson, while peaceably attempting to do his job, was repeatedly beaten in the streets by an angry mob. His picture ran on almost every major newspaper the next day. From the New York Times to the Progress Index to the Richmond Times, everyone saw Wilson being attacked. It was this image that compelled President Eisenhower to send 1,000 members of the 101st Airborne Division to Little Rock and to federalize the 10,000-man Arkansas National Guard. On September 24th, the nine returned to Central High School and completed their first day of school. Wilson, although considerably injured, never saw a doctor or took time to rest, according to his wife, Emma Jean Wilson. His article ran the next day in the Tri-State Defender. He stated, I decided not to run. If I were to be beaten, I'd take it walking if I could, not running. Any newsman worth his salt is dedicated to the proposition that it is his responsibility to report the news factually under favorable and unfavorable conditions. But I am not bitter. I believe that justice and fair play for all minorities will eventually triumph. We hope you now know a little more about journalist L. Alex Wilson and this unsung hero. For PGTV News, I'm Destiny Banks. Thank you for watching.